Anime jumpings are crucial. I mean, sometimes in your favorite anime, you might have guys that are literally just beat the dog doodle down somebody's leg. Imagine you're walking into a brand new place, unexplored territory, and out of nowhere, guys decide that they're gonna jump you like you stole something. You're on the wrong block. And this block is anime. And that's why today we're here to talk about anime jumpings and how devious they can be. Like, uh, for instance, in JoJo's part five, this guy, he wasn't even really doing nothing. I mean, he kind of disrespected Narancia and the gang. I'm not gonna hold you. But I mean, come on, bro. You ain't have to do him like this. Yo, yo, watch where you fucking walking at, man. Yo, who are you talking to? I, first off, I know your bad dressed ass not talking to me, man. I am fly as hell right now. Look at my drip. Look at your drip. Bro, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. We're about to beat your ass, but first, before we do that, let me get the address or the geolocation of your stylist, bro, because I'm about to beat him the <laughs> up. Ain't no way that you out here dressed like this talking about drip. You can drip or drown, and you chose the drown option. Bro, you dress like some sort of mannequin from Saved by the Bell, bro. I'm not gonna hold you. It's not the 80s no more, gang. Why no, you're not talking? We got picnic plaid on. Feel like somebody about to have a nice picnic lunch on you, boy. Talking about me, boy, I'm dry. I also smack this. Did you just throw wine on my face? Yeah, and then I'm about to hit you with the show. You get yeah, yeah, yeah. Beat his ass, beat his ass. That's what I'm talking about. Man, stop fucking playing with us, man. I told you stop playing. Oh God, man, stop it on me, shit. Man, come on, guy. Man, ain't no cash, cash. What you talking about? Man? Doing this for Nipsey, guy. Oh, the boy, you stop it on me. It's not even crit. And just like that, somebody can get jumped. That quick anime, bro. This shit is real out here, bro. Y'all ever seen that one Vice video where the guy got beat into the crypts and out of nowhere they started, you know, beating his ass and telling him to fight back? That's how it feels every time somebody gets jumped in anime for me. The whole time they're getting jumped, I'm literally yelling at the screen telling them to fight back. But sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Most of the time, they get their ass beat. Like, uh, for instance, there was this one new anime called Viral Hit that came out. I did a video about it on my main channel. And in that video, I mean, there's a ton of ass whoopings. I mean, the whole thing is based around fighting, being a regular guy and fighting. Well, this one time, the main character got embarrassed by a whole group of people, Potgo in the gang. And I'm not gonna lie to you, bro, they had this dude stripping. I mean, literally taking his clothes off. I ain't know if I was watching an anime or a prison scene. I was waiting for a CO to come and break things up. I'm not gonna hold you. Cause why was this man taking his clothes off? Bro was even about to hey, take yo, his underwear the, off. What? If his mans didn't show up. And that's when everything got devious. What do you mean by that? You see, there's two sides of jumping. It's like a coin, heads, tails jumps reverse jumps and this right here is a reverse jump bro i can't believe that he beat the shit out of this whole group of people all right man look i didn't want to do this but i'm gonna take my underwear off oh, hell man put your underwear on man you don't gotta do that man. yo 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 calm the fuck down you about to show him your dick what, what was that gonna do for you i mean i mean it was gonna get him to stop get him to stop stop what what was they about to do to you? This ain't prison, man. Put your pants up. Yo, I know y'all don't got my fucking friend in your hand. Yo, let her the fuck go. You think it's a fucking gang? Man, who is you talking to? Oh, God damn. It's back. Man, stop. Come here. Map. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Oh, my God, bro. He's beating the shit out of y'all. Yo, hold on. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Shut your ass up. Bro, I couldn't believe my eyes, bro. Bro walked up first, dude. Bing. Punch him dead in his shit. I ain't gonna lie, he ain't even stand a chance. Bro had his homegirl in his hands. He should have known that he was gonna get punched, especially with a dumbass haircut like that. I'm not gonna lie. I probably would have punched him myself. Cause why you got a bow cut on top of your head? Look like somebody was about to eat cinnamon toast crunch out of your haircut. This is embarrassing though. I don't know if it's more embarrassing that he was about to pull his pants down in front of a bunch of grown men or the fact that his mans came and gave him a wedgie to stop him. Bro pulled them motherfucking underwear hard as shit. He probably gonna have to taste the cotton in his asshole for about a week. But god damn, this blonde dude kinda got it bad. He hit this man with a three-piece combo and then kicked him in the back of his head. You know that nigga has CTE now. Bro didn't know what was hitting him. Then the next guy, god damn, up, up, this dude up. got hit with a fucking four-piece combo and then slammed on his fucking back. Then he stood up and started hitting him with straight crosses. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Bro is beating the dog shit out of this dude. I don't know what's more disturbing, the fact that he's beating them all up or how calm he is when he's doing it. 
He's calm and collected with the ass whoopings. Last bro had his hands out. He did not want to get beat up, but he kind of had to. I ain't going to hold you. First off, you got a misshapen ass hairline and a widow's peak. You out here with a smash cut. I don't know if you about to fight or if you about to play smash forward. Then you got the slides on. But you got the Subaru red Adidas slides on? At least you wearing socks. You don't got your toes out like some of these dudes I know. Ryu on Street Fighter 6 alternate costume. But all right, my fault, bro. I know that has nothing to do with anime. But I am tired of Ryu's alternate costume. Editor showed him this. Mama got a varsity jacket on, jeans with holes in his knees. And then the Chuck Lopters, you got the sandals on with your Long ass feet. All right, my fault. But anyways, the main character is mad embarrassed at this point. He got his underwear on, bro. No shirt, no pants. The girl that he like is looking at him, bro. And he's standing there with his head down, rain hitting him. He can't even make eye contact with her. Would have never been me, bro. I don't care how bad you beat my ass. I'm never letting that shit come in between me and the Haas. You feel me? Especially since Shorty still like him. Then on top of that big broad-shouldered MMA dude walking off with your bitch, he probably gonna take her home and show her some jujitsu moves. I'm not gonna hold you. You gotta give that up, gang. I ain't gonna lie. But you see how devious jumpings can be? Bro, we thought everything was sweet, and then these dudes got reverse jump. Crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Imagine thinking that you about to jump a man's and then some dude show up, bro, with a whole bunch of MMA skills and beat your ass like Prime Anders and Silver. Wouldn't let that shit happen to me, though. Is what Jaren thought, bro, when, until they started jumping the hell out of his ass in the Tournament of Power. Bro, so here we are, bro. We at the end of the Tournament of Power. This man, and this man Jaren done turned up. I'm not going to lie, bro. And by turned up, I mean at this point, he done went to his final form and his neck is strong as shit. Now, obviously, this man Jaren is on PDs because there's no way that you get a neck like that unless you shooting up some sort of steroid. Why is his neck like that? Bro got the traps and neck of, of, of some humanoid snake combo. I swear to God, I seen something like this on the show, but oh, it was Pokemon. This nigga got the neck of an Arbok. So here we are. We got Frieza, Goku, and 17, bro, and they jumping straight in to fight this man, Jiren. Because at this point, all their powers are depleted, and all they can do at this point is jump this guy. Yeah! What's up, ho-ass uh, Hey, Frieza, I think he's talking to you. Cause I know his lame ass isn't talking to me. Goku. Now why the hell would he be talking to Lord Frieza like that? He's obviously talking to you, you dirty ape. Man, will both of y'all shut the fuck up? Don't y'all see me over here? I'm an android and my energy depleted. How the hell did that happen? I'm supposed to have infinite energy. This man beat my ass so bad, bro. As an android, I am out of energy, bro. I can't even catch my breath. I don't even have lungs. No, that is true. That's a good point. He doesn't even have any lungs. Goku. All right, we gotta jump this guy. That's all we can do. I don't know if we can jump them together, Frieza. Last time we jumped somebody, we ended up going to court for a hate crime. Okay, that was one time, bro. I, I, I know I caught him a monkey and then hit him, and it was on camera. I looked bad, okay? But Frieza's not racist. I have a black form now. Uh, I don't know, Frieza. Just because you have a black form doesn't mean you can say, Quack. who's gonna stop me? Okay, touche. Man, will y'all shut the Quack. Quack. up, man? Let's throw these fucking hands. Come here, bitch. Come here. Ram shot. Oh my god, they're gonna push my fucking face. Yo, what the fuck? Oh, hell no. You hit me with a fucking black. Yo, I got y'all with the blast, bro. I still got key energy. You know I'm an android. Didn't you just say you ran out of energy? Shut the quack, quack, quack. That's besides the point. Oh, damn, they're going to shoot me into a building. Yo. Oh, hell no. Oh, no. Nah. So y'all going to hit me? What would y'all come here? Yo, this dude, Jaren, started punching him, and he wasn't even moving his arms, bro. This dude is too fast. He got to be moving above like speed, bro. I'm not going to hold you, because how the hell did he do that? His punches got after images. Move, Goku. I got this. Frieza, no. You don't have it. Oh, but wait a minute. You are actually beating his ass. Yo, yo keep it up, Frieza. I'm going to knock him out, Goku. I promise. I put that on front and grave. Man, get the quack, quack. fuck off me, Frieza. Fuck you think this is, man. You think I'm going to let your weight mask? Oh, my God. He's beating the quack. fuck out of me. Goku, help. I'm coming. Bro, I can't even go into Super Saiyan form anymore, bro. I need a five-hour energy or something. Bro, this dude Goku power was so depleted. He was fighting this man going in and out of base and super saiyan bro so they jump in this dude bro and they basically decided that they had to sacrifice themselves to get this dude jaren out that's some devious ass jumping imagine having hatred for somebody so much that you decide that you're gonna jump this dude and and also end your own life well i mean i guess they didn't die but they, you know what i mean bro they, they exited the ring just to get him out that's some real hating ass shit, bro i'm not gonna hold you that's like the same mindset of like well, if I'm going to lose, you're going to lose too, doo-doo head. What are y'all, 12 years old? But anyways, Goku and Frieza jumped this guy and they knocked him out. And Android 17 was the victor. We all know what happened after this. He used the wish and he brought everybody back. 
I mean, it's better than what I would have done. I would have wished for 72 virgins and a whole lot of money, but I mean, that's just me. You a freaking frog. I sent Dweep here. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, you're down bad, like like extremely down bad. And I, that's coming from a nigga named Dweep. Yo, Dweep, yo, where the fuck did you come? Yo, get out of my video, man, god damn. My fault, guys. But golly, bro, I can't believe, yo, did I just say golly in a video? What am I, a fucking 1900s settler, bro? Like, the fuck was that? I got cowboy boots? All right, my fault. But I ain't gonna lie, I can't believe that they jumped this man Jaren like that. They kind of did him dirty, bro. But you know who really got done dirty? All of these hoe ass niggas in Windbreaker? So we got my man Sakura, bro. He got one versus all. I'm not gonna hold you. He in the goddamn city, bro. And y'all remember these dudes, especially this lame ass guy with the hoop earring? Bro, out here dressing like Sin bad dressing like a hot topic employee i mean y'all seen him biker jacket hoop earring he think he's cool and he's not he's kind of like sasuke you know <laughs> yeah, all right my fault that was crazy why well, hit my man something to slug so anyways sakura come up to these dudes bro you know what i'm saying i like calling him haru because his name is haru sakura i think but you know i'll call him sakura because some of y'all be saying that in the comments i thought his name was sakura it's like well his name is haru sakura so i can say both names but uh, i'll just say sakura i guess yeah whatever i just hate saying sakura because she asked but but that's besides the point so we talking to this dude with the hoop earring bro and he brought his whole gang with him now last time he talked to this dude he told him to remember his name bro because you know what i'm saying remember my name and face whole ass because you next time you see me i'm gonna kill your ass i mean he didn't really say that but that's what he you know that's what he was insinuating so anyways this dude with the hoop earring show up and he mad as hell yo what's good with you boy i know your lame ass ain't thinking i wasn't gonna spend a block on you like tetris nigga. you said remember your face and name right well i remember your face and i remember your name i mean how could i forget your face man you got them dumbass eyes you out here looking like a fucking sailor cat like your name salem from, from sabrina's teenage witch nigga. like you about to turn to a to a goddamn human and shit. bro i'm not gonna lie bro y'all gotta come up with some better jokes man I mean, you could have said anything. You could have said my pupils were like a kaleidoscope. You could have said that I got, you could have said I got one orange eye, one white eye. You could have said I got one orange eye, one white eye, looking like I got glaucoma or some shit. You could have said I look like Fetty Wap. One eye open when I'm sleeping. I mean, you could have said a whole lot of eye jokes. You could have told me to put a goddamn eye patch on like Slick Rick the Ruler, but you came with a cat joke. I done heard them shits my whole life. Now, if I start baking your ass, like why you got a biker jacket on like you fucking John Travolta from Greece? I mean, what you, what you a member of the Breakfast club, man. You dressing like the 80s, ain't it? Get that biker jacket off, man. Sons of Anarchy fit ass, man. A biker fit ass, man. You feel me? I couldn't really cook your ass. Man, come on, cuz. You ain't even have to do me like that. But anyways, look, man. I brought the whole gang with me. Hey, you know what time it is? I'm about to be... Uh, God damn, no, no. Bro, then I tell y'all to stop playing with me, man. Y'all just like all the rest of them. Making a bunch of jokes my whole life. Talking bad about me. Making fun of my eyesight. Making fun of me. Man, I'm tired of that, bro. I ain't putting up with no more of that. Come here. So he runs straight up, bro. Hit the dude with a knee, huh? Kick him in his face. Come here. We throw him over the shoulder, bro. Dodge him. Oh, my God. Stomach shot. Oh, my Lord, bro. He's in here dogging everybody he sees. Bro, this man was really doing that, bro. There's a dude behind him with a bat, and he's still beating his ass. Grabbed his leg, threw him into him. Did he just hit him with a spinning back fist? Dodge the back. Come here, we bop, bop. Bro, come up with the combo. He beating him in first person. Oh, my God. Why the elbow? I'm like, oh, my Jesus. Bro, he did the spin kick into the right left headbutt. Oh, my Lord. Bro, he hit that dude with a rib shot. Was that a liver punch? Oh, yeah, he might have just killed everybody there. But eventually, bro, you know what I'm saying? They got him with a little sneak attack. I ain't gonna hold you. They was basically getting their ass beat so bad that they had to cheat. I mean, you know how that go, bro. So they end up trying to cut this dude. They cut his ankle, you know what I'm saying? He trying to protect the shorty that's there. And then the rest of Balfuring had to show up and bail him out. But bro, he was beating the shit out of everybody. I mean, how did one man really turn into an army like that? I ain't seen no shit like this since One Punch Man, bro. Since goddamn, ah, since Tokyo Revengers, bro. This was going crazy. I ain't gonna hold you. That liver punch right there, though, that was crucial, bro. Why did he hit him like that? That's that shit Javante Davis did to his last fight, bro. And liver punches be sneaky, bro. You think everything's sweet. Next thing you know, you can't stand up. Motherfucker, your legs is weak. Arms is heavy as vomit on a sweater already. Mine spaghetti, yo. Eminem just dropped a new track called Houdini. And that's shit garbage. All right, my fault. Yo, but last but not least, bro, we got to talk about how my man Crollo handled himself in a 2v1, bro. And by handle, I mean, they was on his ass. I ain't going to lie, bro. Why do they have to, you know what I'm saying, do a man like that, bro? You know what I'm saying? I mean, at the end of it, the old man said that he might have been able to kill him if he was trying to fight. So he might be like that. Now, I ain't going to lie. 
But he comes straight in with the dragon joint, bro. He threw the dragon straight at this nigga, bro. I think it's called like Roaring Dragon, Dragon Rising Dragon. I forgot what that shit called. But this man Crollo over there with a fucking what is that? A a, a blanket? I think he a matador? Man, I got your ass now. Motherfucker, you a matador? You got a fucking blanket? Bro, don't talk about my blanket like that, man. I've been having this since I was eight years old. Been deflecting shit since I don't know when. Shut the fuck I made this ain't love Sosa. Yo, dad, you want me to help? I mean, you kind of doing your thing right now but he kind of making you look stupid he being your dragon with a blanket right now bro type of weird ass shit hey, man shut the fuck up man if you gonna help me help me look at that got me out here fighting that nigga with a suit on bro i think he fly but nigga ain't fly nigga don't got no characterization but everybody love him talking about yeah crollo in my top three that nigga said like eight lines they got so much ore in the, the whole fan base with him but then he get these fat ass earrings out you know what i'm saying what are those crystal balls? Man, all right, Dad, I'ma help you, man, cause you over there talking too much. I'ma run it, I'ma trust the dog. The fuck is you running like that? All right, I got him, I got him. I grabbed his ass. Did it kill that nigga, guys? I got you, Dad. I'm about to hit that nigga with the big ass death ball. I look like Freezer right now when he killed the same. Hell yeah, Kyle, you about to fucking murder your ass, nigga. You know what the fuck going on? God damn, these niggas about to hit me with the fucking death ball from when Freezer killed the Saiyans? Golly! Bro, there I go seeing Golly again, bro, like I'm a fucking cowboy, like I'm in a John Wayne movie. Man, get that shit together. But don't worry, y'all, bro. They ended up calling the hit off, bro, so they didn't kill Curlo. And then they admitted that he might have been able to kill him if he tried. I don't know why that dude didn't try. He had to have some crazy abilities, man. Just think about it. No, that's a fact, man. I'm over there. You got some crazy ass ability. Yo, yo. Yo, get, yo, get out of here, Silver. I'm breaking my video and shit.